Hello everyone and welcome back to the Oasis. The Entertainment Oasis. Someone got a little present yesterday. Yes. A little present present. An early present that yeah. wasn't supposed to arrive until Tuesday the 16th of March. But, lo and behold, Christmas came early. It did. And uh, technically it's still winter where we are. But anyway, what, 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 what'd you get? What'd well, you get? I ended up getting the Legend of Korra Steelbook mm. box set. I guess you can call it a box set. So Blu-ray, Steelbook, it's the whole series. The complete um, series. The complete series, which mm. we had made a video on Avatar The Last Airbender, us opening up the uh, that that ver that series is uh, Blu-ray Steelbooks. And after a while I was like, well they're probably never gonna release Korra uh, in Steelbooks, so I ended up <laughs> buying uh, the Blu-ray uh, box set, and then maybe like a month later, they came it, out it, with the steel. Book, they announced right? like, "Oh, we're releasing the uh, Legend of Korra steel book," and I'm like, "You know they do that serious? on purpose. Are you? They serious? do that stuff on purpose. They did, and they got you. I pre-ordered it. <laughs> it's supposed to release on Tuesday, so I was expecting it to, to arrive on Tuesday, but yesterday I got the notification that your package is out for delivery. And I'm like, wait, what? So I checked online to see if anyone else had already received it, maybe had yeah. videos. And the only videos I found were from girls who got it for the, I think it was International Women's Day. Mm. But they got like a box like of goodies. Like they, a little care package. Yeah, they, they got this, they got t-shirts, <laughs> they got this com like huge comic book. They got a lot of nice trinkets. You didn't get any of that stuff. I didn't get any of that. They don't, well, give, they don't give a shit about you. No, because I'm a man. <laughs> no, all kidding aside. So I, I might be I might be one of the first uh, men who who actually got the uh, the box set before its release date. Very nice. So, and we I have the other one here. That's the original. Yep. This is the Avatar The Last Airbender. So I guess before we show you the Korra ones, let me... Refresh your memory as to how uh, for what this one looks like. Yeah, and so if you Aang. want, and if you want to see the full video, we'll leave a link in the description. Yeah, so for, that's for the top. Other one. That's Ang. You're gonna notice a difference between the steel books right away. Uh, Ang again, and then Ang again, bending fire, and then there was <laughs> bending uh, Ang bending water, Katara in the back, but now. You know, we'll start with book one. You can already see part of this one. This this one's for book four, and it's the one that came in. But for book one, they have this really iconic moment from season one, where Korra meets Aang for the first time after the whole thing with Amon, uh, and this is the scene where she or where Aang gives Korra back her bending, uh, with the exception of Wind. I think that's the only one she had at that point but Aang restores her connection to the other bending elements, which is a really cool scene because you get to see the, the um, all the past avatars, which we saw in Aang, the, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, but to see the same avatars, uh, Kyoshi, uh, Roku, and Korra The Last Airbender, even if it was just for a brief scene, was pretty cool. On the other side, you have Korra bending fire. Very nice. She's falcon punching, as you can see. Falcon punch! punch. Then book two has this little uh, piece of artwork. Uh, I, I think this is what she, like the blue version is what she turns turn, turns into when she, uh, I think reconnects with Rava, if I'm not mistaken, um, which is cool. Book two was more about the, uh, the spirit portals, um, where like that, it showcasing the first avatar of uh, Juan I think it was Juan. She's looking at herself though there. Yeah. She's, she's pulling a Mulan. <laughs> My reflection show. That's exactly what that is. But season two was pretty good. <laughs> I liked it. It really gave us a better sense of the spirit world, uh, you know, and whatnot. But then you have book three, which this one, I'm not sure why they included this one in book three, because if I'm not mistaken, this is a scene from the last scene from book four um, for the last episode. Um, but yeah, it's. It's pretty nice. It's Asami and Korra before they uh, go on a, go on an adventure together into the, uh, the spirit world. Uh, so it's kind of nice. Very iconic scene too. And then you have Korra bending Earth. Earth. Yep. So yeah, this series or this book was the whole Zaheer and the Red Lotus uh, thing. And then we have book four, which has Korra in the Avatar state. 
which is kind of cool. I like it. You know, book four. Building all the powers. But then in the back, they got to give it to Wind, even though it still looks like she's bending water, water. on that one. <laughs> yeah. So this, this last one was the uh, the whole uh, Kuvira arc and the Great Uniter and her trying to usurp the Earth Kingdom uh, throne from, I forget his name, the silly guy. But yeah, it, they, these are pretty cool compared compared to these. I like these more. And I'm not just saying that because I like The Legend of Korra more than Avatar The Last Airbender. I mean, really? You like, you like that series more? Yes. Nothing against Avatar The Last Airbender. I just, I don't know. I was, I felt more engaged with, with the uh, Legend of Korra storylines. I think you're in the minority in that one. Yeah. I think most people like the original series more. Yeah. No, that is true. That is true. And one thing that I do like over this about these steelbooks more than these is that these capture a moment in, in the, the actual in the actual it's not just artwork yeah it's, it, they it's actual, actual moments that occurred moment. and one thing i really do like is having the ang meeting cora or cora meeting ang as the uh the one at the top it make i don't know something about this one the way it looks inside the box it just makes it look like a really great moment mm -hmm. uh, a really good yeah really good piece of art to have just to yeah it's like look this is my legend cora and i think i'll probably keep it keep this one as the uh the one at the top, or the one in the front. The one to showcase the box yeah, set. Exactly. Well, it's very nice. Exactly. So, I mean, if you're if you're a collector, if you collect steel books, I mean, I will admit the artwork is really nice in all of them. And this, if you have a shelf or something, or a, a case, or like a bookcase room that you keep these in, I mean, these would look very very spiffy on there. I will they say. would. Look at that. Mm. But that's not bad. These were like eighty nine dollars uh, pre order. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's, gonna, that's still going to be the price even afterwards, but I think it's worth it. I think it's a solid, um, a solid uh, purchase. Mm, so I was checking to see if it has artwork inside. So this one's just Republic City, but it's not that great. Yeah, not sure if you can see it from here, but it's uh, yeah, it's I guess the different cities from the different kingdoms. Hmm. But I would definitely recommend if you guys lo love the series, you know, definitely buy it. It's if you're a big fan, this is a must-have for your collection for sure. But other than that, this was all we wanted to to show you guys. Just a quick little like, hey, look at what I got. Yeah. Um. So we hope you like this video. Uh. And yeah, please join us next time here at the Entertainment Oasis. The entertainment oasis is supposed to let me say that part. What, what I was doing? trying. I was trying what to. What are you doing? I was trying to Dragon Ball Z it. Oh god. Dragon Ball Z it next Dragon time. Dragon Ball what? <laughs> Dra Dragon Ball Z it. Catch us next time on Dragon Ball Z. Do, 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 do. Even though we weren't talking about that show at all. Dun, dun. Yes. So yeah. What? Like I said, thank y'all, and we hope you guys come back to the oasis. The entertainment oasis. Signing up. Peace out. On Dragon Ball Z. No. <laughs> Next time on the Entertainment Oasis. <laughs> what? Steelbook? <laughs> well, Clueless McLean by next. <laughs>